for one thing. That's the word of God. Yes, of course, other times I can talk of other things like relationships. Like today we talk about relationships. That's true. Why? If you'll see here, the sign says Windsor. This is the town or the city of Windsor. Alright? And of course, my apologies for this is the side of the road and there will be a lot of noise, cars passing. So I hope you can still hear me as we talk about it. Yes, it's important for us to talk about God. Because God is the one who gives us life. And God is the same one who also directed for people to marry. Let me first of all give you a description of where I am. Windsor, as I say, this is the place. But then further down, as you go further up, just behind the trees is the castle. The castle is a residence for the, uh, for the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II. She lives there right now today. As I'm saying now, she is right there. Of course, it's a very sunny day. And as it is, you know, you have to protect yourself. But for now, because of the video, I'm gonna take my glasses off. Yes, the wedding of, remember this? Megan, yes, who married who? Remember that? Harry, yes, I'll keep my papers right here. I don't want them to be thrown about by the wind. Windsor Castle, that's a residence as I said. It was first opened in the year 1070. And of course, all these years it's been residence for the, uh, for the Queen. And of course, it didn't just go through peace times went almost attacked but of course this time around I'm talking about an attack by fire in the year 1296 it was burned down of course and also in the year uh, 1853 it also burned down and more recently in 1992 the fire also ravaged the place so it's got its share of course uh, of, uh, of these tragedies I'm gonna read you the word of God of course as I, as, as I say now I'm here to talk about the God the photographs don't have to fly away. I'm going to read you the book of uh, Genesis, chapter 1. Don't forget that. Always, the beginning. Uh, verse 27 it says, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. There's another thing. God said, God blessed them and said, Multiply. Are you following that? Be fruitful is to have a wife. Be fruitful to multiply is to have a husband. Because a wife alone cannot have a child. And a husband alone can have a child. That's why these two people, Harry, Harry. Of course, she married. Blessing them, they have a child. That's why God says, Be fruitful and not a child. Yes, it's important to be fruitful and not a child. Also, don't have to be fruitful and not a child to a person who you don't allow. If you remember very well, during the wedding, I suppose you must have watched it or maybe read about it. They asked Harry, they said, Do you love Megan? And they loved, uh, they asked Megan, they said, do you love Harry? And Harry said, yes. It's got to be two people who are willing to love each other. To help each other. In times of trouble, in times of peace, and in times of peace. In all sorts of times, really, in winter and in summer. You have to be help with each other. You have to be husband and wife. Yes, and that's the whole thing about it. Some people make a mistake. They say, ah, it's got to be a man and another man. God didn't say that. Because a man and a man, as I said, won't have children. It's the same like a woman and a woman. Unless they say, as always they say, sometimes they say that. But a man, if you are alone, you will not have a child. And also, if you are alone, you will be lonely. So you need somebody who can be with you. That's why God, in His Word, He says, you must be married. Look for somebody. The 
you're gonna leave your mother, you're gonna leave your mother, and you become one with the other person. So that's important. And then also, God Himself in the book of Galatians 5, verse 22. It says here, wives, submit to your husbands. A wife has to submit. In other words, agree with the husband in what to do. And also the wife has to love the husband. So the husband has to be agreement, there has to be companionship, there has to be friendship in the relationship. And then of course, why does God say that? He says that because He knows, like God Himself, He died for His children. So the church is like a wife to God, or the church is like a wife to Jesus, if I can say that. So, we have to support each other, we have to be there for each other, and of course, to love and be happy together because when you're alone you're kind of lonely that's why other people they go to the extremes of doing something bizarre something awkward which we'll talk about in this video somebody married a cat that's what i said in the last video yes we'll talk about that in these videos the first one is this one of course and then of course what happens is that prince harry he accepted Meghan Markle, and then they went on, and then they got married. They will live happily there after. That's also very important, because why you're not, if you're not happy, what's the point in trying to do something which is unreasonable? It's very important. And then also, of course, Harry, his uh, title will change. He's going to be a uh, uh, prince of princess. Uh, and of course, uh, it's the same with uh, Meghan. Going to be a, a duchess of the West as she is, as it is, because the wedding happened uh, 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 a month ago. So, because it happened a month ago, they uh, have already changed the titles. But of course, it's always going to be Harry and Meghan. It's very good. Another preacher said, Meghan, she's, she's, she's basically. Uh, if I can say, I don't want to be racist, but she's not pure white. But other people, they hate it. They say, what is it? What is it? But a person is a person, whether black or white, or yellow, or green, or whatever. A person is a person. If you find somebody who is outside your color, because color does not have to matter. And if you love the person, go on. Another preacher, when they got married, Oh yeah, now we're gonna, we're gonna have a child who's gonna have kinky hair. That's what the preachers say on the same day. They go. So I thought, oh okay, things are changing there. But you as a person, you must know, you must also learn to change and accept change in life. Sometimes you have to accept change. Sometimes even in your own child, when she wants to get married somewhere else where you don't want to. Yes, you have to accept because that's their love and it's not your love. So, as it is, that's the first video. There's Megan. Yes, they got married, they loved each other. And there's Harry. Be happy for them. God made it that way that people should love each other. And He blessed them, He says, multiply. Yes, and of course, not just multiply where there's no love. It always has to be love. Then, in the next video, we'll talk about something. 